Well, we've gone through about 15 months of real difficult times with COVID, adding great mental stress on families. Uh, we've increased our budget by some $7 million to help on mental health cases. We've created more mental health courts. We've created diversion programs to help people rather than send them to jail. And we've created a mobile unit that would go out and respond to calls that do not include the uh, police department or the sheriff's department, but mental health experts. So we all want to recognize Mental Health World Day, and uh, we appreciate uh, all the people that stand up and help on this major issue. We are glad you joined us today as we join the globe in raising awareness for mental health. 29 years ago, the World Health Federation established October 10th as World Mental Health Day. Every year, there is a different theme. This year's theme is World Mental Health and an unequal world. So we will focus our attention on the myths surrounding and contributing to that unequal world. Today, we will help destigmatize mental illness by busting some common myths. Here's the first one. Mental health challenges are uncommon. Wrong. One in five persons suffer from some diagnosable form of mental illness. The COVID pandemic has strained us all. Stigma and discrimination experienced by persons with mental illness have worsened. Mental health challenges, in fact, are very common. So let's hear some more myths, and thank you for spending your valuable time with us. Haven for Hope of Bear County provides wraparound comprehensive services to individuals experiencing homelessness. On any given day, we serve over 1,400 clients, including families with children. Most of our clients have a mental health diagnosis. We, with our partners and our teams, are able to house clients and get them jobs. In fact, we get hundreds of clients jobs every year. So I'm here to debunk the myth that individuals with a mental health condition can't work or don't make good employees. In fact, individuals with mental health conditions make wonderful employees. They can be just as productive as those who don't have a mental health diagnosis. And having a job offers stability and a sense of purpose. Happy World Mental Health Day. I'm Jalyn Jamison with the Center for Healthcare Services. Mental health, like physical health, deserves quality and timely treatment, care, and support. Let's stamp out stigma and ignorance by promoting access to care and support for everyone, regardless of race, gender, sexual orientation, or economic status. Hello, I'm Dr. Ebony Jackson, and I'm a licensed psychologist at the San Antonio State Hospital. At our hospital, we provide mental health services to our community members. Many of our community members come here because they come from an underserved population, meaning that many of them are ethnic minorities, as well as uninsured or underinsured. And so we're able to get the mental health services at a free or reduced cost. The problem that we have often with people seeking services is that there's a stigma of mental illness. They're afraid of being labeled crazy. And so that's not something that we do here at our hospital. We offer support and we encourage them along their journey. And so we ask that of, of you as their friends and family. If you're having someone struggling with mental health troubles, encourage them to seek help and support them. My name is Doug Beach and I'm with NAMI San Antonio. We often associate PTSD post-traumatic stress disorder with members of our military who have served in combat. But did you know PTSD is very common? Among the general population, seven to eight percent of people will experience PTSD during their lifetime due to trauma they've experienced. So PTSD is more common than any of us realize. Thank you.